Kaipo begged Ikbiazu to intervene as Biafran agitators languish in detention. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOC has appealed to the Abia State Governor Dr. Okizie Ikbiazu to help secure release of its members languishing in police detention in the state. The group pleaded that the detainees be charged to court in line with the Nigerian law, which prescribes only 24 hours for arrested persons to be charged. The separatist group in a statement through its publicity secretary, Comrade Ima Powerful, further stated that the Biafran agitators were kept incommunicado in a secret cell at the Mopo base and a state CID command Omwahia. Part of the statement reads, We, the global family of the indigenous people of Biafran IPOP, Ably led by our great leader Mazi Namdi Kanun, wish to alert the world of the continued and illegal detention of Biafrans by the Nigerian security agencies. It is more provocating that these innocent victims are kept incommunicado in various secret cells out of the reach of friends and family members. We have just discovered that some of the Biafran agitators abducted by the Nigerian police were kept incommunicado in the secret cell at the Mopo base and the state CID command, Bende Road, Umwahia, Abia State, since six months ago when these innocent Biafrans were abducted. We have been searching for them until now that we have discovered where they were hidden. Some of the victims include Mazi Friday Ezebulam, aka Nkuesi, who was picked at Umutike Junction. Mazi Chimaroki Onka, a retired police officer who was picked up in his office along Bende Road, Umwahia, and about 35 other arrested, mostly in Aba. We are calling on men and women of conscience across the globe to take record of the atrocities of the wicked Nigerian security agents and to prevail on the Nigerian government to release these innocent Biafrans unconditionally. Um, you see, this plea, this plea is for a reason. It's for a reason. And it should not be taken for granted. It should not be taken for granted. They are pleading now. They are pleading to the to the federal government now, to the state government now, to Ipiazu now, before they will start acting. You understand? It is said that to be forewarned is to be forearmed. I hope have decided to take this move so that when they start acting, they will not say that why didn't they do this, why didn't they do that, that they would have been granted this request or that and that and this. So they have decided to do it this way before acting. But then, <laughs> if nothing, nothing is done about this or Concerning this at the end, you'll be surprised. Though. You'll be surprised. Because as it is now, with what I am seeing, I, I see that IPOP have decided to follow the right key. To follow the right key. So if they don't act as IPOP has requested, then they will not see the other side of the eye pop. Do you understand now? They will not see the other side of the eye pop. Because if I, if nothing is done, you will, you, you will now see and understand issues properly. Yes, you will not understand the issue properly. Because 
I discovered something that the more you beg the federal government, the more they act stupidly. The more they act stupidly. Now, can you please tell me what is the reason for still keeping these people when you people know that you cannot take them to court? And that is to tell you that these people, they know that the IPOC members they kept in communicado are very much uh, innocent. They are only doing these things for their own selfish purpose. But they will never succeed. They will never succeed. They have failed. Woefully, they have failed. And they will keep failing. They will keep failing. Nothing. No way. They will never succeed. This is what we are lamenting and crying out for. You see that? Enough is enough. So, my, my dear viewers, I plead to you. I plead to your conscience. Please, don't remain quiet. Don't be mute on this. This is what has pushed IPOP to the wall that made them to initiate the idea of sit at home order. You understand? Sit at home order. Hmm. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Um Nam the Kano Nam the Kano must gain the freedom that he deserves. For sure, he must gain it. He must not be denied of his freedom, no matter what. No matter the act and the system that they try to use. Look at how uh, the issue of, uh, of, of the Deputy Inspector General of Police. Look at the procedure used for extradicting him. They have to follow the due process in extradicting Abakari. But in the case, the, 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 the uh, AGF Malami decide to follow the, uh, the unlawful process. Well, um, no need to worry. At least he did it for, 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 for the advantage of the IPOPs. Because that is what IPOP we now use to achieve freedom for Nnamdekano and also declare freedom for the Biafran at last. Is it not so? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, let me hear from you anyway to know what you have to say. If you're new, click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.